In this light, therefore, he most carefully picked his way among the wires and triggers and pitfalls that were laid for him. Now I saw in my dream that at the end of the valley lay much blood, bones, ashes, and mangled bodies of men, even of pilgrims that had gone this way formerly. And while I was musing what should be the reason, I espied a little before me a cave, where two giants, Pope and Pagan, dwelt in old time. It was by their power and tyranny that the men whose bones, blood, ashes and bodies I had seen were put to death. But by this cave, Christian went without much danger, because that pagan has been dead many a day. And as for the giant Pope, he has lost his power of before, and so doth sit in his cave's mouth, grinning toothless grins at pilgrims, and shouting threats after them. You heretics will never mend your ways till more of you be burned. And though I love to be weak now, the day cometh when my deadly wound shall be healed, and all the world shall wonder after me again. Then shall I show you what I can do. But Christian held his peace and looked straight on before, and so passed by without hurt. <laughs> 